So the other day I managed to get to a yoga class 30 minutes early. The reason why that happened was not because I was really organized. It was because my son actually had chorus practice at school. So he had to be at school earlier. So I got to the, the studio earlier and class normally starts at 845 and I normally get there at 8.44, 8.45, 8.46, right in that zone. This day, a couple days ago, I arrived at like 8.14. And so I go down the stairs to the yoga studio and I get up to the door and it's locked. It's dark. There's no one there. The reason why nobody was there is they weren't even open yet. That's how early I was. Now here's what happened that really struck me. The first thought that popped in my mind here I was dressed in yoga gear. I got my yoga mat. I got my little journal because I'm going to be early and I can journal on my mat and be all yogi in the studio. The first thought that popped into my mind is, oh, you should just bail. Don't even go. Go across the street to Pete's and have a cup of coffee. Forget this yoga thing. I you don't feel like I cannot believe how fast my own mind contaminated my thoughts. And I doubt you understand how often your mind is looking around and talking to you and spotting things that are negative and arguing against the things that you know you want to be doing. I mean, it was just a moment. Walk down the stairs, see that it's dark. I don't think, oh, great, I'm the first one here. That means I'll be the first one in the door. That means I can get the spot by the door in the back of the class that I really like. I didn't think, oh, I could sit here and I could journal right here and just wait. I didn't think, oh, I could make a phone call. I thought, ah, I'll bail on this commitment I made to myself. I'll just bail on it. I'll just bet, screw it. So why am I telling you this? Because our minds are so negative. I don't care how positive you are, and I am an incredibly positive person. I don't care how much mindset work you do. You have to continue to do it over and over and over again. It's not that your mind jumps to the negative and constantly sees the problems and the obstacles in front of you. It's that you don't even realize how often it happens and how often it hijacks you and takes you off course. So it's essential that you're paying attention. It's essential that when your mind talks negative smack talk to you, that you smack it back and you say no thanks or you insert something positive. And, you know, I actually did not intend for this to be like some sort of video to push you to something, but that does remind me that I did an entire course called Mindset Reset. It's free, by the way, more than 400,000 people have taken it. It's 30 videos. If you wanna check it out, you go to melrobbins.com slash Mindset Reset and we'll email you the workbook and you can watch all the videos for free. I'm not selling you anything. I'm a daytime talk show host, so I'm not selling you a course. But I'm telling you this because even the woman that created Mindset Reset, even the person that is training you on how you redirect your thoughts and do what I call think this and not that, my mind still jumps to the negative. My mind still argues against me, which is why one of the most important things that you need to do if you want to live a positive life, if you want a happy life, if you want your relationships to be stronger, if you want things to come more easily and naturally to you, you have to continually train your mind. So what did I do uh, that morning? I basically was like, shut the f up. And I sat down and I opened up my journal and I didn't listen to it. And sometimes that's the most powerful thing that you can do when your mind gets negative. You just tell it to shut up and you move on.